Hi, we're at Trinidad State Park, and I want to point out some really cool things. I'm holding some coal, and that is a fossil fuel coal, and I want to point out that you can see a seam of it here. Coal is mined from seams like this, and what does that represent? It represents a swamp environment. Swamp forms and environments like you see here for Big Thicket National Preserve in Texas. And it starts off as peat, which is an organic mud. Over time, it can be um, literally metamorphosed by pressure and heat into a low-grade coal called lignite. The longer it's in the ground and the more pressure that accumulates, you can get what's called subbituminous, then even more heat and pressure, bituminous. And then you can get anthracite, which is the highest grade coal. So the higher the pressure and temperature, more of the organic volatile material is uh, burned off, so it burns more cleanly, and it typically has a higher uh, energy BTU concentration. So keep this thought in mind as we're looking at coal to understand the value that it adds for fossil fuels. So. It's related to marine transgressions and regressions, of which you're learning about in class. And right above it, you can see some cross-bedded sandstones. Uh, some of the beds don't have a very significant tilt, others do, so these could be uh, inland sand dunes, some of them could be fluvial. But notice that the coal seam that's black, you can actually see that it's folded and that happened after these rock layers were laid down. The law of original horizontality states that rocks are laid down flat and later on they are folded uh, because of pressure and they become more uh, pliable. I might also point out beneath the coal layer where it bends and the cross bedded sandstones, you'll see a pile of rubble that's called a talus slope. If you start looking up the outcrop, you're going to notice there's lots of potential for mass wasting. So mass wasting is when rocks break apart and they, uh, or soil gives way. And there are reasons why best management practices are put in areas like this, such as retaining walls, uh, chain fences, rock bolts, to try to stabilize these outcrops so they are not so dangerous. So as you're driving by this coal mining distribution area in Colorado and Trinidad, but I want to point out that you can see just numerous rail cars. And those rail cars are indicative of the just amazing amount of coal moved from the area. So as we kind of filter through these various different pictures of coal, could you recognize these if you saw them on the side of the road because it's a distinctive look when you see a coal seam. Coal seams have intrinsic or monetary value and they are a vital resource in terms of fossil fuel. More importantly, they are a clue to geologic past of the depositional environment that once existed. More to come. See you at the next stop. Bye.